just above freezing. So we'll see how long I can stand being out here. Um, I do have our sign with the still misspelled. Uh, I've got Aaron Smith Levin's name out of order. Um, and then on the other side is all of the crimes. So printer's row is open. The cult of Scientology is awake and ready to indoctrinate new members. Um, it looks like there might be a little bit less reflection because again, we're, uh, it's not necessarily overcast. It's just that the imprint building is blocking a lot of the sun. So we're not getting much over there. Oh. And we've got some members inside. Let's see if we can get them, uh, if we can enable the blind tech. Um, I'm displaying to them. Oh, you can see it in the reflection, right? Helping them get out. Oh, look at this. In force. The troops are bringing down the blinds. So, as we can tell, the, the best disinfectant for Scientology is sunlight, and uh, they just can't tolerate the sunlight. They need to operate in the shadows. Uh, as we came in this morning, so right, it's just after um, opening. So their publics are allowed in right now. I don't think you'll be able to see the sign because of the way that this door is closed right now. Um, but the sign is telling you that on Saturday and Sunday, they're open at 9.30 a.m. Morning, Monica. Um, oh, look at that broken blinds. <laughs> So there's our sign. This is just a mock-up of the same billboard that was outside of Hollywood. Uh, yeah, blind tech fail, thanks, Ellie. Um, this is just the sign that was outside of Hollywood last week for the few days before uh, Scientology pulled it down and Clear Channel caved and uh, refused to put it back up. If we look at the wings on this, you're going to... Oh, sorry, I'm showing you the pole. <laughs> uh, if we look at the wings... Um, I'm showing them, hey, there are some people that are, have successfully left Scient uh, Scientology and they're able to make money. And then on the other side, and we do have a little bit of wind, so I'll see, I can't hold it there for too long. These are all of the crimes, right? Yeah, that my goal is to be here often enough that they have to bring those blinds on all the time. And thanks, Alan, for the help. Oh. Catch up to some of these comments. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, it is a paper-based orga uh, organization, and they copy and CC and BCC everybody as well. That was awesome. I don't know if anybody saw Jeff's interview with um, the person in London uh, who um, was is an ex, right? And he recently was declared suppressive and he got his knowledge. They sent his knowledge report to him, even though he's no longer a member of the org. Let's see what else we've got here. This is Dave and Sherry talking about uh, their experience at the Cincy Org yesterday. Morning. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, uh, hey name, careful. I have, a, I have a friend here uh, right now. Um, let's see here. Yeah, the mimeograph systems. That's fun. So. What would you like me to do? My thing is all about the Yes, and that's so really that's what it is. So, what so on this side, uh, like as people, so you'll see that there are uniformed people and there are non-uniformed people. The uniformed people are staff members. And for them, it's more like, hey, we'll help you get out anytime you want to because these people are really 
trapped in there financially. They they go through an auditing system. And I, sorry, I, you guys all know this, so I, I just kind of. Um, I brought <laughs> Yeah. Um, and they pay more to get to higher levels. Right. It's insane. Just just ridiculous in that regard. Um, so, the usually what's happening with the publics? Well. For the even for the staff members, I'll kind of say, "Hey, I'd really appreciate it if you could stop covering up crimes and supporting rapists and defending rapists um, in this scenario." So, do you try to say anything to anyone walking by. Um, on occasion, it'll be, "Hey, do you like your new neighbors?" Right, and almost all of them. Nobody's a big fan of what's going on here. Um, I don't think there's any non-Scientologists who support that. Now, if you're a Scientologist, you support it quite a bit. Good morning, Martha. We got snow. Yes. Four leprechauns are going to freeze. <laughs> so, so how do you like your new neighbors? <laughs> yeah. Scariest thing in the world. They support rapists. They support child trafficking. Good. Yay. Just so you know, our new neighbors do not let women report sexual assault they're getting. No. Yeah. They're known for child trafficking as well. Yeah. Appreciate the warm love. Just letting you know, our new neighbors do not let women report sexual assault Really? Yes. Putting the heads up. Thank you for letting me know. Abuses to the police. Yeah. And then some people think people coming out here are not bad. It's not Correct. Bad. Oh. They are able to show signs are when uh, shades are going up. So now I'm going to keep on showing them the sign. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, that's not how shades work. And I don't know if anybody wants to see if they can recognize who this is so they can figure out if their family is looking for them. I'm not sure if the reflection is showing well or not on this. They're taking nice pictures of sexual us. Is bad. Yeah, we disagree with sexual assault. That's good. Yep. If you need out, let us know. If you need out, let us know. Our new neighbors ban women from reporting sexual assault to the police. Just a heads up. <laughs> Uh, oh, what did that do? Somebody got Exactly. Exactly. Sexual assault is bad, and women should be able to report it to the police. We don't support child trafficking. In addition to the neighborhood, bans women from reporting sexual assault to the police. Excellent. I'd like to tell the women though. So I don't know if you remember this. So last night, Aaron, by the way, Aaron is just kind of a, um, he's a popular uh, YouTuber. Oh, very nice. I remember those from uh, Ragnar days. No, you had the, the mugs. You have the mugs too. <laughs> um, so Aaron had mentioned that they don't blast report all of this um, protest to all of the organizations because they, they don't want all of the organizations to know that there's protests. They really only tell each organization individually. So right now, there's maybe uh, 10 or 12 of them that were, well, the LA one is basically shut down. So, and LA is their most important one. That's where the most foot traffic occurs. Oh. Um, and the protesters, it's really just some young YouTubers that, I apologize, some young adults who are YouTubers, uh, and William Good, who um, they just they pissed off William Good one day. William Good is a police watcher, a police auditor, who okay. 
makes people, you know, why do you have these people in cuffs when they're not supposed to be under arrest and all that kind of stuff. And he was doing it in front of the Scientology building one day. And the Scientologist came out and said, hey, get off our sidewalk and started really rank, ranking on him because they support the, the police support Scientology and the Scientologists support the L.A. police. Sorry, one moment. Yep. Just so you know, our neighbors banned the reporting of rape to the police. Um, so he once said, I'm going to end you. And he's then he was for the last three, four months, he's been out there every day and he's just kind of there's been an aggregation of disgruntled young people saying, yeah, I don't want this either. So it's, it's, they've been crushing it there. Austin just opened one of these same organizations the week before this. I'm going to do this in Clearwater as an architecture. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no other reason. Right. And architecture is cool, you mopes. Yes. And that's, so if we, if we look in here, right, this is, this is a historic building, yeah. right? Um, the art craft building. This church supports child trafficking. It's good that you're willing to go in there now. This means you support child trafficking, just so you're aware. So what happens is they'll separate families. Um, that your um, if your child signs up, it's a cult, and you know it, right? So thanks for supporting child trafficking. Thanks for supporting rapists. Um, what they'll do is they'll separate families. Uh, you'll sign up the billion-year contract. And then they'll put you on one base and they'll put your family on another base. The, uh, the other one is that, um, what's Miriam's last name? Uh, there's, uh, by the way, there's hundreds of these stories. But one of the people, she was assaulted by her father in Florida. She, I think she's Australian. Um, it happened, to the best of my knowledge, in Florida, mostly irrelevant. But as soon as one of them confessed it in audit, they sent the daughter back to Australia and the father to England so that they'd be out of jurisdiction and couldn't be held accountable for the rape. Or I guess that's it's sexual abuse, which what, what is still a problem. Um, and that's where they do the child, the human trafficking. Sexual assault is bad and you should be able to report that to the police. You're protecting criminals. Oh, and you're not really doing well with the door. So, uh, can you hold this for a second? So are they all coming in for a service? Why this specific time? Yeah, so they can come in anytime they want to on this. Um, Sorry, I just want to let you know your new neighbor prohibits the reporting of sexual assault by his members to the police. I just want to let everyone know. That's awful. It is awful. As a woman, you should be able to get the resources and the help and yeah. 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 Um, sorry, let me go back here real quick. Dave, uh, they pulled the shades down very quickly, and then five, ten minutes ago, they brought the shades back up. Um, so I think I did well today. Just so you know, they prohibit the reporting of sexual assault to the police. Um, some of the other, so the financial fraud, I don't know if you remember the chase wave. So they would take their members because they get all the inf in these audit sessions, you're giving them information to blackmail you, right? Isn't this the kind fellow that he was going to give me the interview the other day uh, as, I, as he tried to lure me away from the entrance so I wouldn't see the college recru or, uh, recruiters going out to the college bases? And yes, he is. Um, so the other day uh, I was here. There were about nine college-age kids. They walked in, and it, I'm sure they were new recruits of some sort. Um, then three of them walked out and went straight into Columbia, and they badged in. So they're obviously students um, in that place, or at least residents. But I think in order to be a resident, you have to be a student uh, of the college um, in that space. 
And then there were about six more that were in here. I was the only one here that night. There's a back alley. And I think they took the other two teens out the back so that they could avoid me seeing which colleges they were going to. And that's basically. You ready to give me that interview now? Because Scientology is really good with communication, right? They taught you how to communicate, and yet you can't communicate. What's your short story for the day? And it's funny, they, they, uh, they're paramilitary, so they fake... Um, So I just took a quick trip. Um, you know, I'm going to. I need to get a cable in here because I think my battery is fading on the, uh, on here. Yeah, let me get that in there. I'm going to take it off the gimbal real quick and then recharge or reset the gimbal. One second, everybody. So you know our new neighbor bans women from reporting sexual assault to the police. Oh, I know. Don't worry. Just make sure everyone knows. Everyone's got a mother or a sister. They, they want them to have choices. You ladies probably already know this, but these, uh, this, our new neighbor prohibits women from reporting sexual assault from the police. Good place. Yeah, thanks, Miss, Miss Kim. Good, good advice. And it's just good to have people out here, right? And sharing the message, spreading the message. Our new How do you like our new cultists? Women from reporting sexual assault to the police. A woman should have that. Yeah, I'm you, Amen. I saw you out here when they were taking that big photo. Right. And I'm glad to see that you were. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Sexual assault. I think a woman should have reported to the police if they want. You think? Simple, right? This is common sense. <laughs> right. <laughs> This isn't some big crazy thing. I support what you're doing. Thank you so much. So, um, as I had mentioned to you, that they had just opened this, what, March 3rd was this. They've owned the building since 2007. Just so you know, our new neighbor prohibits women from reporting sexual assault to the police. What? They prohibit women, if a, a church member sexually assaults uh, a woman, you are not, they don't let their women uh, report it. You should have that choice if yeah. you belong at, anywhere you should. Yeah. 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 So I'm against sexual assault. I mean, so the woman being able to report it. So. Yeah, I don't know if I've got. Uh, I'm intrigued by what's going on here. Are they going <laughs> to come over? When you come out, can I have your name and badge number? Okay. I'm out here Thanks. just letting women know that they don't. Uh, 
and, so and, I'm just giving you the heads up what we're doing. And now they're going to give you some BS story for calling you out. The only reason I want the badge number is so I can do a FOIA later on to understand what the call, why they were called out. Um, if I have the badge number and the time, I can FOIA and say, hey, what was the call? Just so you know, our new neighbors prohibit women from reporting. Oh, I know. I watched all the documentaries. I know about these clowns. It's still a surprise yeah. to some of the women. I'm like, these are your new neighbors. Yeah. Women. You don't have a choice whether you report it. Yeah. No, I watched, and I watched the whole series on Leah Remini. Nice. Actually, I was looking. 2007. Yeah. They started. They started to reconstruct, yeah. Yeah, recondition in 2015, yeah, 2016. Yeah. They got a lot of flack, and then it's, it's, it's an interesting move. Yeah. The Lincoln Park. <laughs> yeah. Have a good day, guys. You too. Thank you. Really? It's a two cop call. <laughs> <laughs> oh my nice. goodness. <laughs> So again, safe pointing the police. I don't. Hello. Can I have your name and badge number, please? I'm Officer Garcia. Sure. I'm Officer Garcia. My star number is one two two eight five. Thank you. Thank you. They prohibit women from Thank you, sir. Thank you for your service. That's why. My dad Thank was for a for 36 years, and he was out here in the burbs then 10 years in Largo, Florida, next to their headquarters in Clearwater. He said, as a cop, they're the best people to be next to because they cause no problems. They don't uh, report anything, but they also don't report anything. So. Can I ask what uh, what the call was? Oh, no. Just disturbance, that's all. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, we've been staying and back in any way. Did you see disturbance? Did you see disturbance? Sir, uh, I, I, I just talked to the call. I don't understand. It's a scary thing. And child trafficking. You saw the children walk in just now. Okay. I'm, uh, All right. Thanks, sir. Well, well I hope you have a good St. Patty's Day. You don't have to go too many drugs. <laughs> yes, <laughs> How'd you survive last night? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Last night's worse, right? Thank Take care. Day. Thank you. Thank you, officer. Have a safe day. Oh. They're schizophrenic. Is it shades up or shades down? Are we okay to see the public or unsolicited feedback? Um. You want to take a lap around back? Hey, I just wanted to, to walk to get some heat in, okay, in my system. Okay, no problem. Uh, you know what? I'm probably not going to be here much longer either. 